Hi, I'm Dr. Alex Lloyd, and welcome to uh, Corona Land. I, I feel like saying, and uh, that sounds weird, doesn't it? Because there's the drink Corona, and then there's the coronavirus. But anyway, everywhere you turn, it's Corona, Corona, and the schools are shutting down, and the stock market is tanking, and you know, it's it's like some of us have have never seen in the United States of America, or even in the world, okay? So I hope I can encourage you, make you feel a little bit better today, I hope. Um, I checked the CDC this morning, Center for Disease Control in America. Uh, 88 people so far have died in the United States from the coronavirus. In the last year, 12,000 people have died from the regular flu and, and, and are dying now from the regular flu as they do every year. So um, coronavirus, 88, over the last year from the flu, 12,000. Uh, they also reported that over 80% of confirmed coronavirus cases are mild, okay? Not even moderate, mild. Um, I've seen interviews with some famous people where they were at home and said, you know, I feel, I feel fine. I feel okay. I feel pretty good. Uh, I feel like nothing's changed. Uh, you know, all, all sorts of different things. But um, let's not make it into the monster uh, that, that has a negative effect on our life. I want to share with you today something that I think can really help you. Uh, in this coronavirus thing. One is a, a tool. One is something to remember and, and think about. Okay, the one to remember and think about is that maybe this is an opportunity. Okay, last night at the Lloyd House, we had game night and uh, pulled out the old board games and just laughed and had a great time visiting with each other. And all of us remarked about how this is really strange, but it also feels good. I mean, um, we're spending more time together, we're listening, we're laughing, we're communicating, talking about things we haven't talked about for years. So keep that in mind and see if there's an opportunity for you whether it's that same kind of thing, or maybe you're just exhausted, you know. About 50% of all the people I've worked with over the years, they were exhausted, all right? Well, maybe you got a couple of weeks here to take naps and sleep late and rest and, and you know, those sorts of things. Um, take some time to pray, to get spiritually centered again in your life. Uh, so that's, that's sort of the teaching and realize, let's make sure we keep the monster in perspective, 88 to 12,000, 80% mild. I'm not trying to minimize, it is a threat, especially for older people and immunocompromised people, and we do need to take that very seriously. But see if you can turn the time into um, something positive for you and the people that you love and care about. Now, a very simple little technique, actually two. One is when you're um, uh, home with the coronavirus or uh, because of it, try to train yourself to take slow, deep breaths from your stomach. About 90% of people breathe from their chest. Chest breathing is stress breathing. It's very shallow and it's unhealthy. Breathing from your stomach or diaphragm uh, oxygenates your lungs, increases uh, lung and oxygen capacity, does all kinds of wonderful things. So number one, make sure you're taking slow, deep breaths from your stomach, not your chest, all right? The second thing is really cool, and this is research that goes back to the 1950s. I call it the alpha inducer, and it's so simple. You have your head level to, you know, the walls, the floor, the ceiling level looking straight ahead, and then you don't move your head, but you roll your eyes up 
about 34, 36 degrees to where the ceiling and the wall come together. That's about where I'm looking, about the angle up I'm looking. So keep your head straight, eyes rotated up for about 20 or 30 seconds. And that's it. That puts you in an alpha state in your brain, or at least a partial alpha state, like flipping a switch. Alpha state is a non-stress state. So, uh, and the, the effect usually lasts about a couple of hours, where your brain is staying at least partially in a non or less stressed state than normal. Then, in two hours if you want, you can do it again for 20 seconds back a little bit more to a, a state of physiological peace in my brain and nervous system. And then again in two or three hours, you can't really overdose with it. And if you're rolling your eyes up too far and it hurts, you're going too far. You only need to go about to where the ceiling and wall would meet. 35, 36, 37 degrees. All right? And that's all you do. Just in that position with your eyes rolled up, for 20 to 30 seconds. Decreases your stress. When you decrease your stress, your immune system comes up. All right? So try those at home and uh, see if we can turn uh, a lemon into a little bit of lemonade, as my eighth grade uh, PE teacher used to say all the time. Thank you. Have a wonderful, blessed day.